Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Christy Z from Zeal Studio and Zeal Vintage on Etsy. And if it's your first time here, welcome. Thanks so much for joining me. Just got back from thrifting and actually that was the day before yesterday. Um, it had been a hot minute before I had done some thrifting recently. So it was pretty exciting to get out except honestly I did not have the best thrifting trip that I've ever had. However, I did find some stuff. Not what I was originally looking for though. So I'm going out again this weekend and I'll be doing another come thrift with me because I'm going to get to go to a thrift store that I've actually never been to before, like never been to. So I'm pretty stoked about that. For now, let's have a look at what I found on um, the thrift that I just did. So I hit up uh, two stores, got nothing at the first store, and then I did manage to find some stuff at the second store that I was pretty stoked about, um, except it wasn't the stuff from my list. So I had a list of nine different fall trends, and I'm gonna try again this weekend to see if I can find some stuff on that trend list. Now I did find a couple things, um, not so much for myself, or not so much for my store rather, which is why I went <laughs> initially was to get stuff for my shop. So. Um, this is basically what I ended up buying, um, except this little uh, velvet slip dress. I did get this on a previous mini thrift, so but I thought I would just include it because it's super cute and I didn't get a chance to share that with you. So let's have a look at what I got. Now, um, the first thing I got was a skirt, and mini skirts are on the list of trends for fall. 2021. So this piece, I found it at the Salvation Army. It was, it was the most expensive, no, second most, sorry, sorry. It was the second most expensive piece of the day. Um, and I think it was $12.99 or something. Um, I'm going to try it on for you. So this was the first thing that I found was this mustardy, um, kind of a faux leather, mini skirt uh, it was $12.99 and it was in really good shape it just had like a couple little threads I have to cut off and so it's kind of like a high-waisted mini skirt situation and I was actually looking for sets I did not find actually I didn't find any sets well that's not true I found one that I didn't buy that was more of a summer set because it was white. Um, so I did not pick that up, but I thought this was so cute and such a trendy color with like the mustard. And I think it looked great with this other piece right over here, which is a sweatshirt that says weirdo. <laughs> um, but what I love about these is they're sort of in the same color family. So they're both that mustard sort of color. And I thought this would be a really cute look together. So I will try that on and show you what that looks like together. Um, I also thought I could just sort of do a crop with the, the sweatshirt. And yeah, I thought it would look really cute with the skirt. And then I could also wear them as separates. So I will show you what that looks like. I did get like five shirts, six shirts actually. 
for some reason, I don't know why, but I always end up getting like a lot of shirts. Um, and I don't know why as well, but I'm really into scrunchies lately. And I have my favorite one, which is not just any scrunchie. It was a, it was kind of a, like a gift. So I'm on this point system at this one place that I shop at and I got it with my points. And I don't know if you can see, I'm just going to, it actually has little nugs on it. So it's white velvet with green um, pot nugs. <laughs> I know it's really silly, but I really, it's so cute. And it actually just, I'm a real big pony child kind of fan because especially this morning, I've been out running around and just finished my errands and stuff. And it's just so easy to do so I don't know if scrunchies are back or not some people say yay some say nay but I'm a fan of the scrunchie I'm not gonna lie so if you find scrunchies for fall don't hesitate to pick them up I think they're I think they're making a comeback that's just my personal opinion okay so the next item that I got was um, this shirt which I thought was super cute and again I thought I could wear this with the yellow mini skirt. It's just a t-shirt that says Django and Schultz, Bounty Hunters, Bonds and Executions, Officers of the Court. <laughs> so I don't know. I just, I mean, I love the movie Django. So I just thought it was a little bit different. Um, I thought it would look cute with the skirt and also just with jeans or a different bottom. So yeah, I think this one was 250. Um, yeah, so their shirts were pretty inexpensive. And now this is something that looks vintage that I got was actually, um, it's just from like, you know, a mall store, but I love, love, love the vintage style. I'm just gonna back up a little bit so you can see the whole thing. It's this totally long with slits, sort of really soft crochet, um, like a, you know, sweater. And it's kind of perfect for in between seasons where you kind of need a sweater, but you don't. And it just totally has my bohemian vibe with the type of sleeves, the little bell sleeves, the crochet. And again, even though like I normally only buy totally vintage items, um, stuff like this, it was a pretty good deal. I think it was like $4.50 or something. And I know I'll get a lot of wear out of it in between seasons. So I just picked that up for myself. And I think it'll go with um, quite a few different outfits that I have. So that was another score that I snagged. t-shirt was kind of funny because oh and I do see some threads I have to cut it's just an I Heart Paris France t-shirt um, but again I thought this would go really nice with the um, the yellow skirt so I thought this would be really cute with this and I'm sorry if my lighting is kind of messed up it's really cloudy so it's trying to compensate for the clouds right now but yeah, you can kind of get a better idea of the 
has a really nice texture and actually I thought it was leather but it's faux leather and again it's from a mall store it's a Zara um, Zara basics but I do love the texture and again I think it will look really good with you know something like that and this actually these black shirts I did get a couple other black shirts they really go with the accessories that I picked up. Now, I didn't have the best day thrifting. However, I did find some really good accessories. So that kind of saved the day. And the other thing that I got for shirts, I did get a couple of black shirts. So I did find this dark side skeleton snow white shirt which I thought was really cool just for fall and coming up into October and Halloween season. Again, these black shirts, the sort of the baby tee 90s style shirts are coming back in style for this fall. So I thought, again, these go with the accessories that I bought and they also and kind of just, you know, again, the 90s baby tee sort of theme. Um, so yeah, that was really cute. I think it was like $2. And it looks almost brand new, except there's a couple threads. And then the other t-shirt I got was this Esprit, which I'm pretty sure is vintage, um, very similar to what we would wear in the 90s. It has the transparency, which again is kind of a theme, or not a theme, um, a trend for fall 2021. Um, you will see a lot of transparencies and things of that nature. So this would be great, um, just styled with you know, uh, a camisole underneath, or even, you know, you could just wear a bra underneath, or however you're comfortable with it. But as you can see, super transparent. And again, I thought it would be cute layered with the skirt and something underneath it. I think this was, hmm, I'm trying to remember, like 250 again, or around there. So a couple other really good scores. Um, I have a thing for t-shirts and shirts. All right, and then, so this is gonna be pretty quick because I really didn't get that much stuff. So again, I did get one more shirt and I actually hate the design of the shirt, but I loved the rhinestone Minnie Mouse on the front. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop this into a crop top and I'm gonna do that right now and just show you how easy it is to change the style because I actually really dislike fussy sleeves and it has these ruched fussy fussy sleeves. It's very like bougie looking. So I'm gonna just go grab my scissors and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to change the style of this just by cutting it. So I will be right back. I'm gonna grab my fabric scissors. I'm gonna chop this up and then I'm gonna give these a try on and show you how I style them. Oh, after I show you the accessories that I got. Oh, and two more things. All right, I got my fabric scissors. So let's do this, let's cut this shirt up. I hate the style and I, sh I shouldn't say hate because I really try not to say that. So what I'm basically gonna do I'm just gonna do a little quick surgery on this. I'm gonna take off these sleeves, I'm gonna take off the bottom, and then when I have time, I'll hem it. But obviously, we're not gonna hem it right now. But I just wanna see how much better it will look if I cut these sleeves off right now. Okay. Now, obviously, this is a lot easier on a flat surface. Um, yeah. All right, here we go. And this is not a type of fabric that will fray. So if I didn't want to hem it, <clears throat> Ta-da, one sleeve gone, Waha. So yeah, if I didn't want to hem it, I wouldn't really have to. Um, oops. Okay, so I'm just gonna fix a little here. There we go. 
Okay, one sleeve gone. All right, let's get this other sleeve off here. And I've already washed this. I already washed everything except, well, the leather skirt, faux leather, and this little dress. <clears throat> and no, everything else I washed already, so. Nice and clean, so I'm gonna give it a try on for you and just show you how that looks now. Cause yeah, before it was ooh, kind of very bougie. Now the trick is to try and get them even. Bye sleeves. All right. Now I'm just gonna cut right across here, basically. I'm just gonna throw it on the floor for two seconds and do that. Here we go. All right. <laughs> One moment. Is so much better already wow okay so I just made a tank out of that very bougie shirt and as I said I didn't really like the style of the shirt but I did like the cute mini rhinestone graphic especially because it has this little um, velvet bow right here super cute so let's get the, let's give that a try on and see how it looks. I might even try it with the yellow skirt. Um, although I can tell it's going to be a little big for me, but I think it will fit a client probably better than me. So yeah, super easy. And that is how you make an ugly shirt into a cute little tank in about two minutes flat. Oop! Don't step on the scissors. Oh my gosh! I'm such a spaz. <laughs> Oh my gosh, speaking of, I have to tell you, I got the cutest teapot. And I don't buy a lot of like knickknack tchotchke things because I'm just not like, I'm not into knickknacks, really. It's just stuff for me to dust. But I do think they're cute and I often find really cute ones, so I'll buy them for my shop. And so I picked up this teapot. It was shaped like a toy store like an old fashioned toy store and it was all hand painted. It was so cute, um, super kitschy and I'd never really seen anything like it. And then what happened was I had it wrapped in paper like this and it was inside of my bag and I was sort of running to get the car and I dropped my bag and it was at the bottom and I heard it like smash into a hundred million pieces. <laughs> so I basically killed the teapot by accident and I felt really bad because it was so cute, but you know, obviously shiz happens and you know, I did feel bad, but I'll put a picture of the teapot here because I did throw it out. I had to throw it out, um, but so R.I.P. Teapot, you're right here because it was so cute.
Anyways, I did find one more little tchotchke thing for my shop, which was super cute. And I'm not even sure what it is. It is marked. So it's dated 1999. It's marked. Um, I think it was $1.99 or something. Not recommended for the dishwasher, oven, microwave, blah, blah, blah. Mercury's copyright 1999. Um, it's just this little bear and kitten, sort of like a tchotchke dish with a little bunny or something. And then boop, it's like a tree trunk. Yeah, let's see if we can, I'll try not to break it. Okay. So cute. See, it just has this little bear and a little kitten and a rabbit on a, you know, I think it's, um, I think it's just a jewelry dish. Like you could put your rings in there. I'm always looking for somewhere to put my rings. So that was really cute. Although honestly, the teapot was totally my favorite piece, but this was a good score for my shop. So that will be in my shop. This might also be a sugar dish. It looks like it could be a sugar dish. Although I did not see a matching creamer, but there is like this little notch there, which I think is for a sugar spoon. So I'm suspecting now that this is actually a sugar dish, but super cute. And I just like the colors and stuff. So that was a pretty good score. And then I just got a couple of other items. And one more thing for my shop, which was um, this shirt here. So a vintage NHL shirt with the Blackhawks logo. I don't sell a lot of sports stuff, but you know, when I see something that's recognizable, it's vintage, um, especially I think they might be changing that logo. So, you know, I think fans of that team might want to have a memento of that. And uh, yeah, that was a good deal. I picked that up at the second store and I think it's a large. So that was for my shop. And then the other couple items that I got. So as I mentioned, this one I did get last weekend on a mini thrift and it's a 1990s slip dress made of a uh, stretchy faux velvet. And we totally wore these in the 90s over a t-shirt. And I really noticed the 90s styles and Y2K styles are so hot right now. They are just, you know, really, really trending. So that was a cute deal. And this was on the $2 rack at the Women in Need Society. So I love donating to that organization. And this is just so soft, like the velvet, it's, it's just like butter. It's so soft. So I think this would be great to layer under, oh, I keep forgetting about the accessories. <laughs> oh my God. Right. Cause I did get accessories to go with this stuff. So I thought this would be great to layer like with this t-shirt, total nineties sort of look. And I'm going to try that on for you as well. actually saw <clears throat> in the Salvation Army and I just washed it so it's a little bit stiff um, because I didn't put it in the dryer I washed it and then hung it up so this is a 1970s or 80s uh, Levi's original jacket that is lined 
So as you can, it smells so good too because I just washed it. So it's lined with this um, Sherpa material, which is kind of a creamy tan color. And even the pockets are lined. The sleeve, like if you wanted to roll it up, um, the sleeves are lined as well. So I just love, 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 love this kind of thing for fall. Um, it's basically, and as well because it was Levi's, you know, obviously a good deal. And I think this was probably around $15, but obviously it's going to resale for a lot more than that um, because it is an original Levi's. It's in amazing shape, like ridiculously amazing shape. And of course they have the red tag here. And then inside you can tell, and how I could tell the age of it was by the tags. So if you look at the tags inside, We've got that original Levi's tag in there. I'm just gonna try and, and then made in USA. This is a junior large size. And I can tell you, whoops, and there's some of my hair. And I can tell you by the age of the tags. Um, also by certain numbers on here that this is issued in most likely the late 70s, early 80s. Um, because of the characteristics again of the tags and you know if you're in vintage for long enough you can generally tell by the tags very easily um, so that was a really great score I was really happy with that and yeah I should just try this on really briefly okay. I'll give this a quick try Oh my god, I just about killed my plant. I told you I'm such a spaz. Oh, and this is such a good size. Actually, this is, I was gonna put this in my, in the shop, but it's like the perfect size for me, and I love how it has pockets. Oh, so cute. And actually, it's really warm. <laughs> it's probably too warm for today, but like on a fall day when you need something just a little bit warmer than an unlined jean jacket, this is perfect. And you know, this sort of 70s and 80s style was a lot of the inspiration for newer styles, um, you know, where they did a lot of companies put out coats like this recently with different, you know, substrates and furs. And, you know, this was sort of really the baseline inspiration for those types of styles. So, yeah, this was such a good score. This was the first thing I found in the Sally Ann, and yeah, it was a really good deal. Um, I couldn't believe how good of shape it is in. You know, normally they're a little bit more worn. It's such a nice darker wash. And sometimes you'll find like the lighter washes and stuff, but yay! Ooh, 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 ooh. All right, loving the Levi's. So that was basically the first thing that I found in the Salvation Army. And then the only other stuff I got was I did get a pair of boots and a couple of bags. Now, I only found one pair of shoes and my mandate was looking for, I'm looking for basically, <laughs> this sounds crazy, like 90s rave shoes with really super chunky platform. Um, com super chunky like platform combat boots, rave shoes, anything with really stacked type of platform bottoms, very 90s type shoes, very like Steve Madden. And this was the closest I got. <laughs> and these are for me, um, just this little pair of combat boots. Certainly not super chunky, but super comfy. I did like the stitching on them. Um, they were in really good shape. I haven't researched this brand. Um, what brand is it? Okay, uh, I'm having a hard time seeing. Uh, let's see. I did try them on and they were my size. So, and Necken, Neck, Necker? I cannot read that. Sorry, the lighting is so bad. Anyways, I thought these were so cute. And 
and these were actually the most expensive thing. These were like 20 bucks. So I'm not sure what brand they are, but oh, Necker. Has anyone heard of that? I've never heard of that. Okay. Uh, Necker. Uh, or Riker? No, sorry. Riker. Necker. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah. I'm trying to see. Made in... I can't even read where it's made. Oh my god, I totally need my glasses. <clears throat> Alright, sorry. <laughs> Girl needs to get some glasses on. I still can't read what that says. I think it says made in Mexico. Mm, I don't know. I'll figure it out. But I'm not sure why these were so expensive, but they're really comfortable and I really need just like a basic um you know, something a little more less feminine because a lot of my shoes and boots are quite feminine. And what I want to do for fall <clears throat> is I want to style more feminine outfits with like super chunky sort of goth 90s rave inspired, you know, accessories and stuff. So I also thought, yeah, these will go really good with that skirt and with the tops and also something else that I picked up which I just totally forgot about um, with these accessories now I did find two bags and the first bag is just this little and I don't even think it's vintage but I just love the color this Chinese laundry sort of turquoise mini bag um, it is leather and because it was only like $3.99 for, I just couldn't pass it up because I love the color. And also, I randomly found on the end of the aisle these socks. Um, and they're knee-high socks with new with tags, never worn. Um, and they have them for like $3.99. And these were just so cute. And it says death before decaf. So I thought that was just you know, so cute for Halloween season. Plus I'm a coffee freak, so I'm a total coffee hoe. I have to have several coffees or I cannot function. So these are just, I thought that was so sweet. Um, total score, snag those up right away. And you know, obviously I wouldn't buy socks if they were not, um, like if they were used, no. But those were new with tags. And then I did find other socks too, which I believe I have stuffed in this bag. Um, sorry, I stuffed the other socks in here. For some reason they have these like random socks at the end of the aisle. So I did get three pairs of socks. These are knee highs from a mall store. Again, new with tags, never worn, $1.99. These ones were $3.99, but they're merino wool, which is super soft Italian wool and they're knee-high socks. So again, I was gonna style these with those um, little combat boots that I got, and the skirt, and the black tops. So, although I do have to wash them first. But these ones were actually quite expensive, like for $3.99, but they, again, were Italian wool. So it was just weird. They were just like random at the end of the aisle. And they have the original price on them. Uh, the original price was like $12. So that was a cute score. Totally unexpected. But um, I thought it would really work with the way that I was going to style stuff for fall. Now this was pretty much the last find was this Marc Jacobs leather bag. And it's a crossbody bag. And what I loved about it was the details. Um, so it has the logo plate, and then it also has his name in giant letters all over it. So right now one of the trends is logo, 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 like everything logo, you know, names, 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 
you know, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Prada, on and on. Everybody, you know, Machino, everybody's totally logoing out all over the place. So I thought that was a really good find. I think it was only $15, considering it is really nice worn-in leather. Um, it had all the pulls. Everything was in really good shape. And I love that it has the really sturdy crossbody handle. And also I thought the black color would really go with the other outfits that I got. But yeah, I just love that extra large um, alphabet logo name. So it just says Marc Jacobs within these huge letters. So yeah, super cool accessories. So I was really happy with that, with the two bags um, and the shoes and then the pieces that I got. So that is, that was my haul for the day. Kind of a mini haul, really not a huge haul. And again, I felt a little bit guilty and petite guilty because I was going out looking for my shop and then I did get quite a bit of stuff that was more so for my personal wardrobe. Although I did end up scoring a couple of nice outfits and items for my shop, like the Levi's jacket, the NHL shirt, and um, a couple other things. I'm still not sure if I'm going to keep this one or not. I might put this one up in my shop as well. I think it's super cute. And I may just hem the armholes. I'm not too sure. The neck is already still hemmed. I may also decide to cut the neck a little bit deeper, but I think it's pretty deep for right now. But I'm gonna give that a try on and see. I have a feeling it'll probably end up in my shop. Awesome, so thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this Come Thrift With Me in haul. And don't forget to hit me up on my socials, on Instagram at Zeal Studio, or on Etsy at Zeal Studio or Zeal Vintage. Thanks again so much for joining me. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this video. And I'll be doing some more thrifting videos coming out this weekend. I'm so excited because I'm gonna hit up some thrift stores that I've never been to. We have a giant Goodwill here and I've never been there. So watch out Goodwill, I'm coming for your good stuff. Thanks so much, take care.